Listen. You are going to listen to a conversation between a tourist and an Egyptian man. Excuse me, could you tell me the best way to get to the city center, please? Yes. The quickest way from here is to take an underground train. I didn't know Cairo had underground trains. Yes, it's the only underground railway system in Africa or the Middle East. I know this because I work on it as a pro as an engineer. Is it new? No, but it's a lot newer than the London or Paris systems. The first line opened in 1989. It's about 44 kilometers long and goes from Helwan in the south of Cairo to Neuenmark in the northeast. Really? The early must have made traveling, underground, uh, traveling around Cairo easier, especially for commuters. It certainly has. Trains carry nearly 2 million people every day. Is it expensive? No, not at all. That's one of the best things about it. The journeys cost the same whether you travel between two stations or go from one end of the line to the other. That's fantastic! It must have saved people a lot of money and improved their journeys to work. It has. So, how many lines are there in the system? There are two at the moment, but there are plans for six lines. Line 2 goes from Chopra to El Muni. It goes under the Nile. Really? That's amazing! Tunneling under the Nile can't have been easy. They used a massive drilling machine called Nefertiti. It dug a tunnel with a diameter of over 8 meters. Is there a line to the airport? No, not yet. That'll be not line 3. They've started work on it already. The whole thing sounds like a massive engineering project. It can't have been cheap. No, it wasn't. But we're very proud of it. And it's considered to be one of the most modern underground systems in the world. And of course, it's an investment in Egypt's future as a center for tourism and business. When will it be finished? All six lines might be open by 2022. Now, complete the following sentences. The Egyptian man compares the Cairo underground system with those in London and Paris. It costs the same even if you travel to the end of the line. The tunnel which goes under the Nile has a diameter of over 8 meters. The tourist thinks that the building of the Cairo underground must have been expensive. The Egyptian man feels very proud of the underground system. He believes it will make Cairo more attractive to business people and tourists. Thanks for listening with Nafham. Learn easily and simply.